Port of New Park RV Park. It's right next to the Rogue Brewery, <clears throat> which has uh, tastings, it looks like, which we might have to, we can easily walk to it from there. Is it In open? In fact, they share the same parking lot. That's open. Can we go in there? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're, <laughs> we're going to go in there. It's official. So, but yeah, this is the, it's called Port of Newport Marina and RV Park. It's quite a nameful. But it was simple, easy to check in. The lady was super nice at the desk. Park here is all paved. We are talking more inside the truck because it's really windy here. Right? Yes. Super windy. We don't super know how windy. it's going to affect the. And we don't know how it's affecting the mic. But this is all dry parking. There is a dump if you dry park that you can uh, dump your vehicle. We're over here on this side. They're paved. Really nice. We're in lot 61. Right here's ours. Already hooked up. We have full water, sewer, and electric. There's also cable. Uh, the lot is pretty level. We just needed to put the one side was, you know, yeah, not bad. Off a little, yeah, but like not two bad. Inches, but... Yeah, but uh, other than that, it was pretty good. So, and also the the rogue um, beer brewery is right up the hill, and there's a full pub up there too that you can visit. So there's two different ways that you can go visit the rogue brewery. There is a uh, Oregon. I think it's called the Oregon Pacific Aquarium is located here. There's an old lighthouse that's mainly boarded up. There's another lighthouse that you can take tours Monday through Friday. There is a marine center. There is a zoo that the lady in the office was telling the guy that had little kids that it's a zoo that you can actually go in and pet some of the animals and stuff. It's a local zoo. Uh, she said it was really nice. The kids would really enjoy it. And then there's charters and stuff, I guess, down here at the marina, too. But we'll check it all out. Uh, so far, it's been real nice. Jim said the camp host was super nice. Yeah, he came by on a golf cart. Asked us if we need any help setting up or anything. Or any, any problems with the park. Yeah. So, and I've seen him buzzing around. Just asking. Just helping people. Yeah, just seeing if anybody needed help. So, but we'll give you a full review. There's a shower house. They give you the code to go in. Okay, the Rogue um, Pub. The little one is right here, right down at the marina. It opens at 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. It's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. And I think Sundays it closes early, like at 7. This is the main building here at the campground. The marina, I think, too. <clears throat> it's a good Sam park, which I didn't realize. And no wood fires. <laughs> Which I can understand that. <laughs> Come in here and you have a pop machine, change machine. And a real nice laundry facility. It's like to dry. It costs two dollars and fifty cents, and to wash. Same price. So five bucks, basically a one. Bathrooms are real nice. They have an office in here. They sell postcards. I don't think anything else. One thing that's funny here, they do not allow you to use a Wi-Fi booster repeater. Kind of funny. All the dumpsters are really clean and modern. They have a glass recycling and a plastic recycling at each of these um, trash stations, which is kind of nice. And they're scattered throughout.
this was when you pull up there's an office right here and it's easy to check in they've got two lines here for the check-in so you get place plenty of space for your RV to pull in you're not you know fighting the crowd they keep the traffic managed anyway right across the street from the check-in is a rogue brewing company this is a rolling thunder barrel works and those are barrels that they're building for the rogue brewery that's how close we are to the rogue brewery over there those big buildings that's the rogue brewery nice restaurant and right there is the building that rogue uses for like a uh, pub they call it you can go out there and get drinks um, good sandwiches great clam chowder um, really nice you can actually walk it easily from this RV park these are some of the campsites here they're really nice no picnic tables or anything on your site you can put out your own table they got a nice uh, area up here it's made you know wider so that you can put something out the lots big enough for you know the truck and the uh, camper there's water sewer electric at each site but everything's nice and clean and neat I like that even the bathrooms are nice and clean so and we're right across the street from the office I mean literally right across the street so if we need to do laundry we're gonna do our own laundry but if we needed to do laundry it's right there one thing that's real nice here is that these dumpsters have a hitch on them and instead of a garbage truck coming and it emptying the big dumpster they just come by with a truck and pull these away like a big train clean them and they bring them back empty we are going to the Oregon Ocean Aquarium it took about a quarter of a mile um, people are riding their bikes over I've seen that quite a bit Jim's buying tickets it's more like a zoo. It's, it's you, back home. Aquariums are just one building. Okay, this goes. But this is like a multi-building. Salmon swimming away here. Stuff they find in the ocean. Junk. Junk. Shark tooth. Started out the early days, I guess. Prehistoric and work your way out. Some huge. Starfish. Starfish. Oh yeah, crab size that crab down there. Mm -hmm. I know. And look at this thing. Look at the way this fish swims. Uh, this fish tank actually reminds us we had a saltwater fish tank. The boys when they were teenagers wanted a fish saltwater tank. And we had some yellow tanks. And we had one of them. That was a little one, the blue one. Dory, we got us the dory fish, and we also had a couple clown fish, and we had a few corals. Ours are never this big. <laughs> no, ours are not that big. I've never seen the um, jellyfish this close, like where you can physically see all of their tentacles. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. You can actually see them, how they breathe and everything. So after you do the three different uh, aquariums, qu little aquariums, it's called soft tour, coastal, and rock. I think. Then you have to come into the next area. Aviary. Now we're going into the deep sea. They're huge. 
paddle bit flats. Now we're going out to the open sea. <laughs> This is a really cool aquarium. Um, I didn't expect it to be like a, to me it's like a zoo more than an aquarium because you can walk around from exhibit to exhibit all outdoor, all underwater. So it is all aquarium, but it's like a zoo how it's laid out. And, yeah. uh, it took us about two hours, but we could have spent longer. We could have spent longer. A lot longer. We didn't read every single I like thing how or... it's outdoors. You know, you go outdoors, indoors, outdoors, indoors. And you can take your own pace, go backwards, go back to some of the areas. Yeah. It's some small of, enough that you can go back and do repeats and see some of the stuff because just because of the crowd. Right. It's really nice. I like it. And the road brewery. We're just headed to the gift shop because they're not doing the tours. Well, did you enjoy that? Yeah, we had uh, Dreamland and Honey, honey. something. And the Honey is what I liked the best, yeah. Those two were really good. I the had, two were, yeah. I also had a, a sip of the whiskey. I had the single malt, which was good, and the dead, dead head, dead man, yeah. dead man, which was really good. Um, yeah, it was really good. I'm really glad that we stopped by. So, right here still, we're in the campground, we're just walking around. Over here's where the fishermen come in. How are you? Hi. How are you guys? Oh, we're good. Like something. It. Is it halibut? Halibut. 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 halibut, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Are they both halibuts? The fishermen were very nice, but I asked what halibut tasted like, and he says it doesn't taste like fish. That he can't describe it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up. Those help. And keep the comments coming. We love them. So thank you again. Have a great day.